in this video, I wanna share with you my favorite art supplies to make yourself an on-the-go art kit. The first thing I wanna share with you is this bag that I found from my friend. It's from Hobby Lobby and this size is $19.99. There's actually an even bigger size that's $24.99. But I made this little kit for my son for his birthday and I just wanted to share it with you. So what I love about this bag is first of all the size of it. You can fit a lot of watercolor products in here. You can fit a full pad of, this one can fit a 12 by nine inch watercolor pad. And when you open it up, there's just a ton of room inside. So I wanna show you. Okay, so you've got two sides to this bag. And over here, I like to put my watercolor palette. I've shared this before. This is my favorite watercolor palette for painting on the go. And it's just a simple palette from Amazon. I'll link all the products below, but I believe this last time I paid for this, it was about 10 or $12. This is my palette that I made for my son. And I like to just make a little swatch chart and put their name on it. And you can tell that he's been using it. He's been painting some cherry blossoms and I love that. So for the colors for this palette, I chose Windsor Red Deep, Quinacridone Magenta, which is his favorite color, Permanent Rose, Scarlet Lake, Cadmium Orange, Yellow Ochre, Jaune Brilliant number two. I actually prefer number one, but I gave him number two. Windsor Yellow, Skips Green, Sap Green, Perline Green, Prussian Green, Sky Blue, French Ultramarine, Prussian Blue, Payne's Gray, Mineral Violet, and Van Dyke Brown. So those are just a few of my favorite colors and I thought he would love them on his palette. This is a great palette because when you take it out with you, it seals around the edges and you're not going to get spills in your bag. So I just slipped that palette on this side over here. And I also put in some watercolor pads. This is just a little Canson watercolor pad. You can see my son's been practicing his roses and their darling and his pine cones and oranges. And he's working on some cherry blossoms. This is a great little spiral notepad. I love that you can open it up and lay it flat like this with that spiral bound edge. So Canson watercolor paper, that's not 100% cotton. It's good for practicing. It's not top of the line paper. You wanna look for 100% cotton paper, but this is great for practicing and also for kids. Then I also included a full size nine by 12 inch arches watercolor paper. You can see he hasn't opened this yet, but I told him to save this for his special art projects. So that whole pad fits in here and I love that. And then you can also fit a few smaller ones on this side. Right here in the middle of the bag, there's this Velcroed rolled up thingy. I don't know what to call it. Brush holder, I guess. And when you unroll it, you have all this space for your brushes. And actually this is kind of upside down. You can't see the full thing, but it rolls out clear over here and it can hold up to 32 brushes. For the brushes in this set, I like to include Princeton Snap brushes. You can order these on Amazon and they're super inexpensive um, and they do the job. So they're great for kids and great for beginners. That set includes a three-fourths angle brush and a size six, a size two, and a size zero. Then I also included a size six and a size eight and a size 10 of the Princeton Velvet Touch brushes, which I love. These are a great affordable brush. I love that he keeps the plastic parts on to keep the tips nice. These seven brushes are a great start. I would probably want to have a size 12 and maybe one even bigger, but for my son, and his on-the-go kit, that's just perfect for him. But then you just roll this up and tuck the brushes away. Okay, the other things I like to include in the kit are some kind of water container. This is a great little plastic container that folds up and it just pops out when you need to fill it with water. I ordered this on Amazon. Again, I'll link to it below, but it was fairly inexpensive. I'd say seven or eight dollars. I love up here that this edge is scalloped so you can take your brush and just rest it across your water pot when you need to. So this is a great little water pot. Folds up when you're done and you can just tuck it back in here. I also include an eraser and pencil 
I don't think the pencil's in here right now. It's not, but you definitely need that. This is just one of my favorite erasers. It's a mono Tombow plastic eraser. I like it because it doesn't leave marks when you're erasing on your watercolor paper. Then I also like to include some watercolor pens. These are the Tombow Fudenosuke brush pens. It comes with two. There's a hard tip and a soft tip. And I actually prefer the hard tip. So I always have to buy these together. I have like 20 of these laying around that I don't use. That's okay. They're just $4.99. I got these at Hobby Lobby. You can also just order them online on Amazon. Then I also like to include a black fine tip permanent marker so that if you want to do watercolor and ink, you can do that on the go as well. This is just a micron. It's 05 is the size. You can see how, well, can you see how big that is? It's just a little tip. And these are great because this micro pigment ink is waterproof and fade proof. So you can do your ink drawing and then you can paint your watercolor on top of it. My son also likes to draw, so I did include these in his kit, these markers, but I don't include these in my kit. These are just alcohol markers and we got them in all the shades of the rainbow. I also like to include some paper towels in my kit because you always need those while you're out and about. And another thing that I include in my kit is a plastic water bottle full of water. And I just tucked that in the side right here. I don't have that in this kit yet. So yeah, that's everything that I put in my kit. You can put more or less as needed, but all I need is my palette, my watercolor cup, my brushes, and my paper, and I'm set. I just found that most watercolor kits or to-go kits, they're too small. And this is just a really great bag. It's, as you can see, it's really big. It holds a lot of stuff. So I keep mine in the back of my car and I'm ready to paint anytime I need. And I also put it in my backpack when I go hiking, when I'm out and about. So that's the kit when it's all zipped up. And I also like to include a little personalized tag on the bag. This is my son Trevor's. Anyway, this is just my favorite bag and I really love it, I recommend it to anybody. And it's relatively inexpensive, so. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope you make yourself a little watercolor kit and take it with you wherever you go. So when you get the urge to paint, you're ready. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Um, I told him to use this when he wants to do some art projects, when he's working on final projects. How do I explain that? Then I just like to have a Okay, what is this called?